Hey, this is YBR with Autumn Park Mini Golf, which is a game that recently came out on Steam for one dollar. And me being me, I'll buy any game for a dollar. Mini golf? Yeah, sure, why not? How to hit, click and drag to hit. Okay, I think that's what it said. It went away so fast, I barely got to read it. So force 15, this is how it'll go. So boom, hole in one, hole in one, no. So stroke one, par two. So if I get this in right here, I am totally average. All right, how is, how much force is like force four? Is that a, in the hole? Yes, it is. I am the most average mini golfer in the world. I've also noticed that, uh, yeah, hold left shift and you can kind of move this separate. I did that when I tried to run. So let's see here. Grab that and then boom! Mini golf pro YBR, super average though. All right, now we gotta try to get it around this corner. We're gonna get it in the hole right here. Is 14 power gonna be too much where it like flies out though? Oh, it could have, I think, but I kept it in. All right. Right there, what is that, like a five? I'm gonna go with a five power. Get them both in my screen. All right, let's go six. Let's go six. Yeah! Super average YBR wins again. And now I don't see a golf ball. Okay, oh, I see an arrow though. That's probably the way I wanna go. So I can jump, but I can't run. What does this course look like? All right, it's bumpy. And then it goes down, so we're gonna hit this thing as hard as we possibly can, which is 15! Wait, gotta hit it straight. There, that's straight. And uh, that's not that hard at all, is it? My guy's not very strong, is he? Alright, we're gonna hit it at 15 again. Maybe, yeah, 15. Oh goodness, it just flew out, didn't it? Yep, and it disappeared. Do I have to restart? Nope, I just lose a stroke. Okay, that's too hard. How about like, uh, 13? No, that's still too hard. Okay, how about 12? And a little bit of an angle. There you go. All right, now I am uh, not even close to par. Unless I get it in here, then I'm kind of close to it. Come on, you little. That's not right. You should have fallen in. All right, we are two over par. Turns out YBR is not good at golf. Who would have guessed? So here we go. I'm going to actually try to maybe bounce it off the side a little, like, Boom! Get up that hill! Get up the hill! Oh, that was a waste. That sucks. Now I gotta do two hits to get all the way up, right? Yup, because it ain't getting through both of those. I don't even know what's after these hills. Bad strategy. If I lined that up, I might have been able to make it under par. Now we just are par. There we go, par! Yeah! You know, the thing about like a mini golf like this is you can have nonsensical things that you don't that uh, you can't do in real life. The game didn't do that though. They put it pretty uh, logically. Oh, are you kidding me? What? It fell out of the place somehow? How was I supposed to know there was a giant cliff around the corner? I'm gonna drop it down to like 13. Don't fall off the cliff. All right, it almost did, didn't it? That thing is just being a pain. Oh, come on. You couldn't round that corner a little bit better? All right, if I make it in here, that's par. What? It looked like it just went right through it. Fine, we'll hit it lighter. Yep, two over par again. That's me. I'm either on par or two over it. Boom. Two over. Someday I'll get good at mini golf. I probably would be better at regular golf just because I have a strong swing. I could just brute force my way through golf. Can't do that with mini golf exactly. Brute force is not your friend. I mean in real life, not video games. Oh, I thought I had that for a second. Hey, don't roll all the way back. Oh, what is this nonsense? Well, the hole is up on a hill. 13 power. Every time I shoot it, I just get back to the same spot I was before. Okay, 10 power. There we go. On par still somehow. Up that hill. Jump down it. Okay, I'm gonna actually look at this place. We got like three different ways we could get there. I should not be looking at this. I'm just gonna confuse myself trying to choose one. All right, we're gonna try to bounce it and then slide it around. Yeah, that's how you do it. Hole in one. No, not quite. A lot of these courses don't seem like they're set up for hole in ones. All right, now we're gonna do like seven power. No, you should have went in the hole. Par again. I swear, I am the most average mini golf man in the world, unless I mess up. 
so average. All right, what do we got here? Two paths, one up a hill, one not up a hill, but we have to go around the boxes. I'm gonna try going around the boxes, I guess. You know, well, can I squeeze through there to get up that hill on the first shot? Maybe, let's do the hill. No! The only reason I did the hill was so I could get over it in one shot and I failed that. Watch, I'm gonna hit this one so hard it's gonna fly out of the place, right? Oh, it almost did. I see you messing it up almost. All right, bounce it off the, oh no, 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 no! Well, this is one of those two over par ones, isn't it? Or not, I thought we had to go up that hill. This is another par somehow if I mess up, if I don't mess up here. We like six power. Yep, Pargan! Most average golfer in the world, YBR. Boom, 15, up both hills. It's like, how are you gonna get a hole in one here when you can only do 15 power? Not possible. I will do like 13 power here. Don't wanna hit it and then make it bounce and it comes back and hits me in the face. We could go left or right. I think right might be a little easier, so we'll do that. Don't want to make it fly out of here, so we're going to hit it at 10 power. Come on, get down the hill. Come on. Yes. Good, good, good. That was a nice shot. This is my chance to get under par right here. All right, we're going to hit it at 12. Just get it up the hill. Okay, we got two strokes. Oh, no. If I get it in here, under par. Come on. Come on. You know you want to go in there. Well, average again. Hey, one thing I can say, at least the, the stroke count is really consistent in this game. Because I am nailing pars so many times. Alright, here we go. I have a feeling this is going to be one of those two over pars for sure, though. Whoops. What? Oh, you can't go around the tube. You actually have to go through it. Now I really messed myself up. Oh, come on, jump up onto the golf course, you lazy bum. We go through there, and wherever the ball goes... Oh, man, this is... Yeah. All right, I gotta get it into the hole. This is a par 3. You know, I just said, oh, it's so good about figuring out how many the par should be. And then you got one like this. Like, how is this a par 3? I mean, you have to get your first shot through there perfectly. And then you have one shot to get all the way over there, and one shot through there. Like, I can't see you getting lower than 3, period. Like, this is par or worse. Here we go. No! Way too much power! Why did I do that? Alright, seven power then. There we go! Two over par! I called it! I knew it was coming! Alright, par three! Let's see if this one's kind of weird like the last one. Where the par seems all wacky. Perfect! Hole in one! Nope, still can't get a hole in one. Get over that hill! Come on, come on, what? Like, I was just stoked. I was like, this is, this is under par. Nope, just par again. Shoot that one hard, I don't care. Par three, you know I got, I'm good for that. Wait, I can't click the ball, there we go. I'm gonna shoot it like right through the gap. Ooh, I actually jumped the course. Hey, under par with the ridiculous trick shot. That was insane. Like, it, I don't know if you saw that, but it looked like the golf ball jumped over the course to get into that hole. That was beautiful. Our next course. I'm gonna shoot this thing straight ahead and let it bounce up the hill, hopefully. Not a chance. Every time I see a hill over a corner like that, it never works. This is a par five, so this is a pretty big course. And just go up the hill. Hopefully that angle isn't off. All right, there we go. Good stuff. Good stuff. Ooh, another one of those ones with the hole at the edge of a cliff. All right, just blast it. That's good. That was really good. Blasting it is a good strategy. And then we'll just hit it like at, uh, what, 10? Yes, under par. I am getting better and better at this thing. I say that, and right here we're gonna go over par. You just watch. Come on, up the hill one time. Nope, never making it up the hill. Oh, no, no, no. Don't you come back all the way back where I started. That's how you make me angry. Okay, I got a wacky idea. We're gonna just fly. This is gonna be like my stupid attack. 
No! Not in the there! I was trying to fly it kind of like that, but not quite. See, I was trying to... Okay, you know what? I'm going to try... I'm going to keep trying this because I think it could work. See, I saw that ridiculous trick shot earlier, and now it's like I can't give up on it. That was great. Okay, we're lined up for it. We're going to shoot it. We're going to fly. Come on! Yes! Haha! -ha! It kind of worked what I was hoping for. Not quite, but close. Oh! Oh! That, yeah! Hey, I'm going to make it in the hole from here. Check this out. Here we go. I'm going to do like a 14 on this, and then straight to the hole. What? It came back! Alright, this one, it's just gonna, it's gonna be so over par, it's not even funny. We're just gonna bring it to the hole now. Ooh, I almost popped it in right there, though. That's not bad. If I wasn't trying those stupid shots, I probably would have made par there. Like, I'm almost certain I would have, but me being me, had to try the wacky stuff. All right, there's the next course. We're going to be taking a look at this one before we do it. What we got here. All right, we got a lot of stuff. That's why the par is five. There's a lot to get through on this one. This one's huge. First shot, we're just going to bank it off that corner. Straight ahead. Bop. There we go. And that could have gone a lot better. So we'll bounce it off of there. And nope, oh, whoops. Oh, it's like actual sand pit. It stopped the ball. I don't know how hard to hit it here then. All right, this might mess me up. Okay. Yeah, I didn't need to hit it that hard. I was worried. Par five, huh? Yeah. No, well, maybe. Amazing shot right there to get me into the zone for par. Just got to hit it up there. I'll do like a nine, I guess. Or a ten. Oh, no. No par for me. Try 11 since I'm a little farther back. Oops, 12 then. If it was 11, I would have made it in. It just changed when I wasn't really looking. I was looking at my aim, and I looked down. I was like, nope, too late now. And now we're going to do 12 because it's farther away. There we go. Two over par. That's me. We got to get this thing up the hill. There we go. First try. Don't fall down the hill. Don't you dare. This is a par two, so if you make a mistake, you're really messed up. All right, we're going to try 11, and then boom. Perfect, on par, two left. We are just destroying this golf course here. Line it up. Boom. No, 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 no. That's, uh, yeah. Can we just pretend that one never happened because I'm literally at the exact same spot I started? Okay. I am not looking at this course right. I did not notice it went inwards right there. So every time I tried to bank it off, there, it bounced off. First time I thought it was a glitch. No, that's not it. See, if I knew that, I would have done that from the start. It's a par six. That is a crazy course. All right, we got like two options here or something. You can go up and then down the hill or just around the hill. Well, I know which one sounds easier. Around the hill. There you go. Boom. Let's kind of get it aligned up for going this way. And blast it through there. We got one more stroke for par because I blew two strokes at the start. If I didn't do that, we'd probably be on par. All right, just one over, two over par as I do it. No! I thought you were about to fly out on me, dude. Don't do that. Four. Two over par still. Oh, I miscounted. I Somehow I miscounted. I thought I was going to be three over par. All right, here we go. We're going to get way under par on this one. That's my goal right here. Yes, up the hill, first try. Seven is the par on the last hole. That's a lot. Come on, stay on the place. Good. Oh, we got a windmill. Okay, got to shoot through the windmill. Wait for it, wait for it. Go. Perfect. What? It flew out of the course. I guess I should have looked at what was on the other side of that hill. So bring the power down to like, 13, wait for it, and go. There we go. And we gotta shoot it into the hole over there. Oh, we can still make it under par here. Come on, in there. Ah. At least roll back a little closer. Okay. We can get under one right here. There you go. They No! There's too much friction in this grass. No, 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 no. You better go in there. All right, par. Game complete. Stop by. I didn't get to read that at all. 
I have no idea what that just said. Hey, look, food! Oh, I could pick the food up! Oh, yeah, let me go golfing with an ice cream sandwich in my hand. You know, funny thing is, I wasn't carrying a golf club. I was just smacking it with my foot every time. I'm like, shut up, I am FIFA man. Kick, kick, I didn't care. So I guess, uh, that's pretty much all there is to this game. I want to see what it said about something about a reward. I was thinking, like, is there somewhere I got to go to get it? Or what? I'm going to, um, wait, what is that? Click and drag to, no, that's not related to that. Yeah, I'm going to just kind of look at my recording and see what that said. Because I'm kind of curious how we get an award or something. All right, so I went ahead and read it. It said, stop by the reward table. So I'm assuming the reward is the ice cream sandwich. And if you golf bad, you don't get one of those. You also get like a brownie. That's a big brownie. You get a donut or jello. It's either a ring of jello or a donut. Let's see. That is a donut. All this food for me. Hey, I'm okay with that. When the reward is food, I'm always happy, especially desserts. Anyways, that's all we got for this game. Like I said, it was only a dollar, so uh, I don't know how deep of a game you expected, but it seemed like a pretty solid mini golf game in terms of uh, what I would expect from one of them. You know, the only thing I would really see is missing is maybe like a uh, animation for actually hitting the ball, but otherwise, yeah, for a dollar, sure, why not? Until next time, this is YBR. I'll see it.